the global corporate experiment has failed. Existence on Earth is in rapid decline on every level of life organization. The air, the soil, and the water cumulatively degrade and disappear. The climates and oceans destabilize without connection. Species become extinct at a spasm rate across continents. And food polluters, songbirds, coral reefs, and large animals all crash at once. Public sectors and services are defended, defunded and privatized as tax evasion by the rich multiplies. The global food system produces more and more disabling junk and wastes. Non-contagious diseases multiply to the world's biggest killer. The global financial system issues money out of control while collapsing in productive investment. The vocational future of the next generation is slashed across the world. Official lies and corruption are normalized as public relations. All the trends are one way, all are degenerate, and all are undeniable. Yet where are the dots joined? Where have you ever seen the dots joined? The common cause is taboo to name. Overpopulation is the stock explanation. But it blinkers out the causal mechanism altogether. Transnational corporate resource extractions, wastes, pollutions, and depletions of life-carrying capacities everywhere. It is not doubling world populations that po poison and hollow out the world. The majority poor control only a fraction of the Earth's resources. What drives the end game is exponentially multiplying money, demand, and commodities with ever more wastes. They more than double every decade or few years, but global population rates have, as the damages still escalate. That educated people can go on blinkering out the actual causal mechanism while blaming the majority poor reveals the derangement of this ruling value system. Not even prophets like Chris Hedges decode it. Journalists are trained not to. Not even moral philosophers question the system worshipped ma masked as the free market. Freedom means no accountability to human and world life, while competition means competing to externalize all costs onto the lives of citizens and environments. The value driver behind it all is no more questioned than the almighty. It can do no wrong. But one underlying lockstep of false equations propels this unnamed war on the world through its mutations and metastases. And this is the, the source code, as I go on to call it. Rationality equals self-maximizing choice. That's just de rigueur. People don't know uh, this outside the academy so much, but Peter certainly knows it that that's what rationality is, self-maximizing choice. You go from there and then that means always more money for the self is good. So that's the ethic. Equals self-multiplying sequences of ever more money to the top as the ruling growth system. Equals all else is disposable means to this multiplying pathogenic growth. My 15-year study, The Cancer Stage of Capitalism from Crisis to Cure, which I think is posted there, diagnoses this ruling value mechanism as cancerous in principle. It is, in short, a deregulated self-multiplication of transnational money sequences accountable to nothing but their own multiplication with no committed life functions. This system is behaving very much like a cancer, uh, a carcinogenic circuitry at the social level of life organization. You know, I'm saying this isn't a metaphor. This isn't, a, this isn't imagery. Um, the image is good, but it's, it's much deeper than that. So it isn't uh, as if we're, I'm having an organic metaphor that some people might understand it. Well, I'm seeing society as an organism. No, I'm seeing it as a social, a social life organization. That means it isn't determined by, um, it isn't determined by genetic circuits. It's determined by ultimately value systems and social value systems, not individual value systems. They're usually derivative from the social value system.
Exactly. And then if you have at the social level of life organization, if you have a reproduction circuit that's growing and it's growing exponentially, once you see exponential growth, you see carcinogenic possibility. There's something gone wrong. And if you see that that growth, and of course what it is, is you know in place of what we call the cancer sequence, and what it always does is reproduce its own itself, really the not-self of the body, it reproduces cancer cells which are deformed and uh, don't have any committed function to the life host, and that's the real key. <clears throat> There's no committed function to the life host. Now these money sequences, these private money sequences, seek only like a cancer. They seek only to multiply themselves without inhibition. And they have no committed function to the life hopes. Well, of course, that ends up in disaster. and that, That's what happens at the bodily level, and that's what happens at the social level. We have not been able to impose any committed function to life host uh, requirements of life. Uh, for example, say with the climate destabilization that we we reduce our carbon, you know, it, it does, you know, they'll just turn it into another money sequencing to turn into more money without uh, without inhibition. And the key is not only that it doesn't have any uh, committed function of the life host; <clears throat> it isn't recognized by the surrounding community. Now, in this in the body level, the surrounding cell community you know it sells and uh, they recognize I mean uh, it's really quite a remarkable thing the way we all have cancer going on in our bodies all the time there are cancers there but the social immune system is able to recognize the uh, the cancer uh, and that's the big problem is not only that you have a cancer growing and multiplying uh, without committed function but you also have no recognition at the surrounding life level of what has gone wrong. These cancer cells, which is just money sequencing becoming more private money without limit until it dominates everything, um, there's no recognition of it. And of course what's happened there is that the corporate mass media are in fact part of the cancer. And of course, Wall Street is at the very center of the propagation of the cancer. And they are not going to allow any recognition. They, you know, it's inconceivable to them. They're behaving like a cancer, but it's inconceivable to them that they could possibly recognize this. And so it isn't recognized by the surrounding social immune system. Now, our social immune system at the social level of life organization isn't, I mean, I could go into the mechanics that go on at the bodily level. It's really quite amazing, you know. The, what happens is that you have macrophage cells that recognize that there's something right wrong, and they, so to speak, and they rip, the, they tear the genetic marker off the, uh, the cell, the uh, rogue cell, and they display it to the surrounding cell community and then there's a response, a biochemical response that uh, triggers into action uh, precisely the antibody, precisely the, uh, the action of the body to get rid of that, uh, those cells. And right. uh, those are called T cells from the thymus, the thymus gland. One could go through and through it. How it's just really quite miraculous how this happens. Sure, but the sure. The key when it happens is that you recognize that it is a cancer. And I've had cancer myself, and that was the real, the, the most difficult thing was getting the body to recognize the growth and come after it. And but that hasn't happened. So it then just continues to attack all our life means support systems to pr reproduce itself at uh, higher and higher levels of uh, multiplication. And it appropriates ever more of the life host nutrients for its own growth and then it unlimitedly multiplies its own non-productive demands of growth and that's what they're always saying we must have growth we must have growth it's just the cancer meta program has entered into the very command posts of the of the uh, the social system and so then you have the needs and goods, therefore, of the life hosts are displaced at every level, whether your food is going, you know, has carcinogenic components or you're not managing uh, any level of the climate reproduction system or whatever. 
uh, it just what it does is repeat the money sequence reproduction and multiplication every time it faces a problem. Then it metastasizes across the life host, across borders, and that's really what these free, so-called free trade, basically it's the free movement of private money sequences to control everything across the planet and across borders. And so it eventually exhausts by the deprivation and the dysfunction that exhausts the life host. And that's the stage we're in now.